Hello there everyone, Ashen Flash here, and today is a, I think it's a pretty important video because I've seen a lot of people asking me this question, and it's constantly, where is the DC superhero set pictures? Like, when are they going to be released? We've seen now, finally, the Marvel ones, we've seen Minecraft, Crater, Ninjago, Hidden Side, all these other themes are getting the pictures. Where is my DC superhero sets? That's what I keep seeing in the comments, and I'm getting DMs about it, and well, the answer is... There's nothing. There's actually nothing coming out in January. Now, I wanted to talk about what is actually happening with the theme, and we've done a couple of videos. Of course, we know that this coming Friday, we are, of course, going to be getting the 1989 Batmobile set, the big UCS one that we've been talking about, made tons and tons of videos about it over the past few months, and now it's finally releasing this coming Friday, as well as the limited edition set that you can get with the purchase of that. But in terms of... What's happening with DC in 2020? We don't know anything concrete except, of course, we do know that in January, starting on January 1st, there's actually going to be a DC Superheroes collectible minifigure series releasing, and there's going to be 16 minifigures. If you don't know who the characters are, I'll just quickly go through and mention them all. I can't show you them because they are, of course, leaks, but we've seen all of them uh, actually come out. And anyways, it's going to be the first appearance, Batman, first appearance, Wonder Woman, the Rebirth, Superman, as well as Simon Baz Green Lantern, Aquaman with his hook for a hand, Cyborg from his first appearance. We also have, of course, Jay Garrick's Flash, which completes the seven Justice League members, I guess. Metamorpho, Stargirl, Mr. Miracle, Huntress, Bumblebee, Sinestro in his Blue Lantern outfit, Cheetah, Joker from the Dark Knight Returns comic, as well as Batmite. Now, you can hear my in-depth thoughts, I'm going to link a video at the end, I talk about all their accessories and all that, so if you haven't seen those yet and you haven't heard, like, what's coming in terms of all that stuff, I'll link it here at the end. It's, it's really insightful, in my opinion, and, and it just kind of helps uh, shed some light in some of the ideas that I would have rather gone with and some of the complaints that I have with that series, because there is quite a lot that I'm like, eh, really? really like you went, you went with them over this other person and stuff like that so i really recommend checking it out again linked at the end here but what is going to happen in 2020 besides the cmf series well we don't really know we don't have anything concrete except for some set numbers now these are assigned to the superheroes range so i don't know specifically what is marvel and what is dc we actually know for sure two dc things and this is actually back from the summertime back in july we actually knew that there was going to be at least two dc sets and the numbers are as follows so it's 76157 and we know that this is actually a wonder woman set and that's going to be based off of the new movie coming out next year wonder woman 1984 now i could be wrong but i believe the rumor was that this is going to be a four plus set which is kind of disappointing in my opinion but um, i don't know it doesn't really make sense for it to be a four plus set since the movie isn't really i would say for that age range um, but we'll have to wait and see what that winds up being. And then we also have another DC set confirmed to be DC, and it's set number 76160. So that's interesting to me that that's DC. So I have a feeling, of course, we're just going to get another Batman wave, just like we had with Spider-Man. And I'm hoping, perhaps, maybe it could be springtime that the theme is released. Maybe summertime, but if it is springtime... That is just a little bit after the Birds of Prey movie. So I'm really hoping that it's loosely based off of Birds of Prey, just like we had the Suicide Squad sets be that following summer. So it'd be really great if the characters that we do get in the Batman sets, presumably, will be like Black Mask, maybe a different version of Huntress, Black Canary, Harley Quinn, Victor Zaz. Like, who knows? It would be really cool if it's indirectly tied into the movie just by having the same sort of characters appear in the sets and such. And then we also have a bunch of other superheroes sets that we know are coming, and it's sets number 76151 through to 76159. And of course, we just got all the Marvel pictures, and we know that those sets are actually sets numbers 76140 zero through to seven six one five zero so this does line up and we know it, like it doesn't surprise me that those are the numberings for the sets and again i'm not sure which ones of these are going to be marvel which ones are these are going to be dc because we do have some of these belonging to i believe black widow as well as perhaps the Eternals. so i'm not sure how big a wave batman will wind up getting i'm going to assume simply because 
the actual number of it being 76157 for one room and I'm gonna guess that at least 76158 and 76159 will be belonging to DC because we know that 76160 sorry for all the numbers we don't have names for them uh, but we know that that will be a DC set so I have a feeling that at least those three we will at least get three sets and I'm not sure maybe it'll go past that set number and I'd love to get more but Anyways, everyone, I don't really have too much more to say about this. It's just really speculation at this point what the theme could be about. I've theorized that it could revolve maybe around Shazam since we kind of know that a Shazam movie may or may not be on the way. I'll link that video as well, and that might be where that polybag came from if you've seen my review on it a while back. But in terms of, like, figures leaking or anything like that, it won't be for a very long time since those sets aren't even in production yet, and that's really when figures fall off the conveyor belts and all that stuff to make their way onto Instagram for us to see. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this video and I hope that this answers your question about what's happening with DC and uh, check out all the videos that I talked about on this if you are curious about the CMF series and all that stuff. But let me know if you have any comments, questions down below and I'll try and answer them. And I hope that you all enjoyed the video and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.